useful. So let's place it down right there. Whoa. That is cool. You can actually do this? Wow. This is oh I can make silk sil iron stuff. This is cool. And it'll take all it iron broadsword. I'll take it. And copper helmet. Yeah, I'll take it. There. I'm looking kind of dumb. Especially the way my skin color is right now. But who cares? Oh shit. Get at me, bro. Get at me. I kind of look Asian right now. Asian persuasion or discrimination. I love it. It seems to please. But I've never actually like really cared about like the um, like the character editor because it's really irrelevant to like unless you guys actually want me to do a legit character like resembling me then I'll do that. But for now this is just sort of like a test run and I mean the world will still be here. I'll just transfer all my stuff onto another new character and all that. But still, if you guys want me to make an actual character that resembles me, then then feel free to ask. When I made my first character, the skin color was kind of random. Like, I just randomly adjusted the values because I didn't know what, I, what was, was kind of my skin color. And I basically just randomly got one. I didn't rememorize. Um, rememorize. I should make that into a word. I didn't rememorize the actual color for... I don't know what I'm doing now, but I didn't memorize the actual color for what, for what it was, so... That kind of sucks. I'm just gonna go out and dig some stuff. You know what, there's actually a hole here I can go into. Let's go in. Bam. Ooh, and potion. I'm gonna dig out this clay. Because one of the cool things they added in the 1.0.5 update is um, the, po the whole potions thing, where you can use potions to increase yourself, just like I got the Night Owl potion there. So, um, yeah, one of the cool things is that they actually made it um, vital resource to act um, vital, or not vital, but it um, added bonus to make things easier if you actually farm for um, different plants. Like, say, uh, Day Bloom, Moon Glow, Fire Blossom. Fire Blossom is the hardest one to get, I think. Just because it's in the, in the um, Underworld, as you, as you call it. Sometimes I call it Hell World, just because that's what it feels like to me. Oh my god, is that a resource there? But yeah, they made it, they made it sort of an added bonus to farm. Because I want to get the Spelunker Potion, because that, because that one's pretty cool. I found it uh, with my other character, but I want to get it with this one just to help me out with the resources. And one of the funny things that I, that happened with my other character was because I was kind of a noob with that character, and so I had to like look a lot of stuff up. Like I had like a full stack of oh my god, this is this is definitely stuff. But I had a full stack of stuff for um, to make molten armor. And when the option didn't appear, I was like, what? Why is it not appearing? And so I looked it up, and basically you needed gold armor, and I already sold my gold armor. So I needed to actually go out and find more gold. Which was a pain in the buttocks, I'll tell you now. But uh, yeah, that's just one of the stories of my stupidity, so... If you guys want more stories of my stupidity, then feel free to ask. I have plenty. Or... I don't know if it was actually smart of me to say I have plenty, but... Uh, it's still a lot of clay. I mean, you can find good clay deposits and all that, but... There's a lot of clay. Make some clay pots out of this stuff. But yeah, Fire Blossom is one of the hardest just because you're in the netherworld, and if... Or... There I go with Minecraft. <sighs> but you're, when you're in the underworld, you basically have a bajillion... And I'm making that into a number. You have a bajillion monsters coming at, at you at all times. 
so you're basically going to need to fight them off. And what I had was the Muramasa. Now, unfortunately, um, I'm not sure if this is true for all of them, but when the, the, um, you find them, they'll use, you'll usually find them still in the early stages, so they haven't like fully grown yet. So, if you hit it, like if you, like if you, like say this one is the Fire Blossom, and you went like here, and you did that, you'd still hit it, and so you destroy it. So the fact is, you need to pour lava over it, so that way the lava stays on it, and then you basically just have to, um, pretty much, uh, go away for a while. But the thing is, you gotta be careful too, because if you swing, and it hits it, it's gone, you can't get the seat. Which kind of sucks, considering the fact that you've got a million monsters at you, and you need to kind of do stuff. I mean, it's easier with a Cobalt Shield, because then you don't get knocked back and have to worry about them. But, yeah. How am I gonna get up? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I don't know what I'm doing! I don't know what I'm doing! Oh my god, this is so overpowered. Okay, here's promised to you now. This iron broadsword, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it to do the finishing blow on the first Eye of Cthulhu, and oh my god. That's one of the promises I'm making. Iron broadsword is gonna be the one that I do the finishing blow on the first Eye of Cthulhu. Alright, so just keep that in mind. If I break that promise, then freaking report me. For goodness sakes, I'm keeping that iron broadsword. Even if I get like um fiery greatsword, I'm still gonna use it on the first half of Cthulhu. So um yeah, that's pretty much it for the first few videos that I have here. Let me know what you guys think, let me know if I need improvements, and I'll see you guys later. It is very dangerous to be wandering around in dark. Cool. You'll need a hammer to obtain them. Do I have a hammer? Yeah, I do. Alright. Stop. Hammer time. Dun-na-na-na. Dun-na. Dun-na. Bye.